when we develop cloud native applications and deploy these on any of the cloud providers we need to make sure the underlying infrastructure or the platform needs to know when our application is up and running and ready for accepting incoming traffic or when the application is alive or not we need to expose some endpoints or we need to expose some mechanism using which the platform can understand if the application is ready for accepting traffic or if the application is alive in kubernetes there are two different constructs called readiness probe and liveness probe we are going to take a look at these two with an example press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss any update from tech primers so what is a readiness probe so readiness is usually used to verify if the application is ready to accept traffic in kubernetes if you had seen my earlier videos or if you are aware about what is kubernetes so kubernetes as a platform creates a container and this is what we call as pod so inside a pod we create a container it takes a while for the container to come up and then it takes some more time for our application to come up if let's say you are working on a caching application your cache might take like 30 seconds to load or 15 seconds to load or maybe more you will have to understand your application and identify what is the maximum threshold at which you can expect your application to come up and you can define a health check endpoint if you are having a web application or you can define some commands if you are having a script based application or you can expose a tcp port based on this readiness kubernetes will understand okay our pod is now ready so that we can serve traffic to this particular pod and our application is what decides if it is ready or not liveness on the other hand is used to verify if the application is alive or not a simple example would be relating this to our lives readiness probe is like starting or inception of our life which is like starting a container and our application is ready to serve traffic and liveness is like our heartbeat another common example which i can give is all of us use smartphones we have smartphones and then we have applications which are running on these smartphones if there is a problem with the application we try to restart the application that is called as liveness probe let's say if our mobile hangs in that case we restart our mobile so if the application hangs we restart the application if the mobile hangs we restart the mobile so same way if the application is not responsive liveness probe will be kicked in and only the application or the container will be restarted the pod won't get recreated but in terms of readiness if the readiness fails the pod would get recreated that's the concept of a readiness and a liveness probe now if i relate this with a kubernetes cluster imagine that we have different pods the green ones are pods the orange one is nothing but the servers so how does the service or kubernetes know which pod to redirect the traffic to is based on the readiness and the liveness checks so if let's say there is a pod which is like unresponsive that gets removed from the load balancing once these liveness and the readiness are not responsive let's see that as an example i have my minikube up and running so i have docker desktop in my laptop and i also have minikube up and running so i'm going to use the minikube version if you're in any cloud provider you can use the same i have deploy.yaml in the deploy.yaml i am creating a deployment and i'm using an image which is the spring boot image which i had created earlier if you had followed my videos you would have seen i had created a spring boot image which is uh, of tag version 2 i have one replica so this is going to create one particular pod that's why i have one replica under the container i can define a readiness probe for example this is how you can define a readiness probe so there are different fields http get where you can define the path since this is a spring boot application and i am exposing a endpoint called lazy i have just simulated a slow startup so that we can see really how the liveness and the readiness probe works so i have a endpoint called lazy which just returns after like 5 seconds i have something called initial delay seconds this is going to define how long does kubernetes needs to wait until the application is up and then hit the lazy that's what initial delay seconds is 
this could be 15 seconds it could be a minute or maybe more depending on the startup time your application takes the next one is period seconds period seconds define how frequently should i check this particular endpoint so here i have defined as 10 seconds similar to readiness probe we can define our liveness probe so liveness probe can also be the same endpoint or it could be a simple endpoint which can just show if the application is alive or not usually if you are having a spring boot application with actuators you can say actuator slash keep alive which can give the liveness of your application so i have defined the same url which is lazy for our reference so i'm going to use kubectl get pod there is no pod right now i'm going to do a w which is the watch this will watch for all the pods which are getting created inside my mini cube so i'm going to just deploy this particular yaml so the moment i deploy it my pod is getting created so initially my pod is in the pending state there are different columns which says ready status and then restarts ready defines if the container is ready or the application is ready for serving traffic this directly correlates to the readiness probe which we have configured inside the yaml file so if you look at it right now the container is getting created once the container is created our application should be started inside the container which is going to take uh, a few moment because we have added some lazy endpoint which is going to return after a while so if you look at it the container is running now but still my ready status is saying 0 slash 1 so which basically means the container is up and running however the application inside it is not up and running so in order to see what is happening inside my container i can do a exec or i can do a logs of my container for example i can copy this and i can do a hyphen f ideally i should have done this earlier but um, if you do that you can check that i have added a log message so when somebody hits the lazy endpoint that's when this will get triggered so i'll show that in the next uh, apply because anyway we are going to change this the next thing is there is a column called restarts the restarts are basically restarting the container so how many times our container got restarted or something like that sometimes we would want to automatically restart the application to check if the error is getting fixed and that's when you configure the liveness probe like i mentioned you don't want to restart your whole mobile just for getting one application up and running so you can just try killing the application and then running it so we are going to do the same right now the liveness and the readiness endpoints are returning 200 successful response that's why we are able to see both the restarts as zero and the ready state as one or one i'm going to create a failure message for my liveness probe just to show you how different kubernetes is going to behave in terms of identifying the application now i have added a endpoint called lazy error apart from that the configuration is exactly the same so i'm giving an incorrect liveness endpoint just to mimic how it really happens in a production scenario let me apply this particular change i have a shortcut for kubectl and that's why i'm able to run it as k otherwise you can just do kubectl apply hyphen f and then apply your configuration now if you notice my container is up and running my ready is still there i can do a uh, logs if you look at it just now the logs got printed so my container is up and running hence once the new container was up and running the old container got terminated and if you see this is the old container since i created deployment the whole pod name is now having alphanumeric so this is nothing but the pod if you look at it right now my application got restarted right this is what i was mentioning when my liveness probe gets an incorrect or a 404 error on the endpoint it tries to restart our container and that's what happened now if you look at the restart count it's one right now let it get restarted again and i will show you um, by looking at the logs then we can figure out when does the readiness probe kick in and when does the liveness probe kick in currently the container is up and running but it will take a while for the liveness probe to kick in because i have put 15 seconds if you look at it my container is recreating right see that my application is starting up right now my readiness is 0 slash 1 once the lazy endpoint is hit then this will become 1 slash 1 i have put a log in the lazy endpoint so this should show up the logs see that my logs got kicked in 
and it says ready now the container is ready for accepting traffic however i have put the liveness probe to get kicked in after 15 seconds now if we wait for 15 seconds we can see that the liveness probe will return 404 and the container will again go for a restart i have just given a incorrect url just to mimic this particular scenario however in production this will help us in quickly restarting the application if something goes non-responsive in your application this is how you can use liveness probe and readiness probe to create a resilient container or application inside your kubernetes environment there are different ways of configuring your readiness or liveness probe the one way which i showed you is using the http the other way is just using some commands let's say you are running a process which doesn't expose an endpoint then you can rely on let's say a folder or a file to be created during the startup and once the application is up and running you can define that this particular folder gets created and we can check that for example this example says if there is no folder called maintenance then please exit saying the container is not up this is one example the other example could be using tcp ports as well i hope you were able to differentiate between the readiness and the liveness probe and see that in the real use case as usual the code for the deploy yaml and the deployment failure.yaml is available in github you can take a look at from there i have made the image public so you can directly apply this into your kubernetes environment or your mini cube and test it out for yourself i hope you found this particular video interesting as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much